Hello and welcome back to this, the second video in your five video series on the five day fasting challenge with your host, Yo Elliot. So, uh, previous video, gave you an outline of what's going on, why we're doing it, and how to go about it. Today, we're going to begin the process with the pre fasting protocol. So, this is about everything you need to know to prepare yourself a few days ahead, you know, three, five days ahead for the fasting challenge. Like I said in the previous video, you don't want to just jump right into the fasting. Um, and also you want to prepare yourself to, uh, to, to bring to account the results of your fasting. And you want to do that by assessing yourself ahead of time. So there are a few things that you're going to need to know that I'm going to share with you in this video that's going to get you there. So the very first thing you want to do a few days before you fast uh, is to get some measurements, right? Because we want to make sure that what we're doing is yielding some sort of result. You know, uh, what we all have different goals, but it's always nice to see that when our effort is exerted, that there is some uh, equal but opposite reaction, right? So the very first thing we want to do is get some measurements and picks. Uh, real simple, I recommend weighing yourself. Just weigh yourself, empty stomach first thing in the morning. Uh, and then also measure your waist. Just get a, a tape measure, regular tape measure, around the waist at the belly button. Those are the two measurements that you're gonna wanna have, your weight and your waist. So you wanna get that and then you also wanna get pictures, right? Proofs in the pudding, proofs in the picture. So uh, you could literally just do a bathroom selfie or you get a friend to help you out, stay in front of a wall and get a picture of yourself. Front is great front and side is even better. Try to get everything from the thighs up, you know. Um, you're gonna notice most of the shedding, at least for dudes, happen in the upper body, but if you can get the legs involved, you know, if there's a lady, ladies are watching this and ladies are getting involved, uh, ladies, the legs, the legs get kind of fat when you're not paying attention to what you're eating. And so the benefit will be down below, a little bit more for the ladies and a little bit up high for the guys. But get your full body, get a picture, get a couple pictures. That's number one as far as fast, fasting protocol, pre-fasting protocol is concerned. Number two, blood work. Now this is kind of optional, but I suggest that you do it, especially if this is the first time you're going about fasting because you're, you're going to want to be able, you're not going to go back and do this. Right? You want to you get the most out of it the first time you do it, right? So see what kind of physiological benefit there is for this fasting protocol by getting your blood work done. Now you can go to your doctor and you get a basic blood work done, get your, you know, uh, cholesterol and testosterone, and you get all that basic stuff done. And then also uh, you can go to this website, personallabs.com. And at personallabs.com, you can order all of your own blood work. And I'm going to give you a uh, uh, list of things that I suggest you get tested if you go to personal labs. You know, including just your, you can get like a, uh, a comprehensive checkup, right? And then include some of the things I'm going to share with you right now uh, by going to personal labs. Personal labs, it's a website that allows you to buy the labs. It's, it's crazy. It's weird. So you, you can actually purchase the labs and then uh, it gives you a piece of paper that you take to the uh, like a like a, a, a quest you know what I'm talking about like quest lab they're like in every city in America a quest lab location you bring in the piece of paper and then they take your blood and then they send it off and then a few days later you get the answers to all of your uh, all of your tests right on the personal labs website it's pretty cool and part of the reason why I'm really excited about that is because uh, this has only been available since about 2014. Prior to 2014, you had to go to a doctor and you had to get all your blood work done there. And you couldn't get or receive your own blood work. You'd have to go back to him and he's going to have to interpret it. But with some of the resources I'm going to share with you in a moment, you get your own blood work done. You receive uh, the information about yourself, right? Like you sh It's great that they made this law change because you should. You should be able to test yourself, right? Like, why do I need, why do I need somebody to test me when I could test myself? And you go to the website and you get it all tested out, but then you get the results and you know what the hell to do with it, right? You don't know what's going on. So uh, what I, I'm gonna offer you is a, is a resource. Uh, I'm reading it on Kindle right now, but it's called Keto Fast. 
by uh, Dr. Mercola, Joseph Mercola. I've been a fan of Dr. Joseph Mercola for many, many years. And it's fun to see that now he's understanding and sharing the benefit of fasting. To, in, back in 2002, when I first started fasting and I became a Mercola fan, I sent him an email asking about fasting and the benefits of it. And he said, I don't think there's any benefit. You know, So it's fun to see now he's writing best-selling books. And so Keto Fast is a great book, but what I would suggest to you, uh, the reason why I would suggest you get it, or just listen to what I'm offering you here, uh, is because he makes some suggestions on different labs you're going to want to get done, different numbers, markers that you're going to want to keep track of while you're fasting. So I'll, I'll spit those out to you guys right now here. You can take down, you can write this down. That way when you go to personallabs.com, you can have these tests done like I did. Or you can wait till the end of this series and you can download my, uh, my um, blueprint. I'll put all this in the blueprint for you. But uh, if you're hasty, you want to get started, uh, Dr. Mercola suggests these following labs. Test your vitamin D, right? And by the way, within his book, he tells you all about what numbers you're looking for. I'm not going to spend all that time here for that. Uh, you're going to get your vitamin D, your red blood count. Magnesium is number two. Uh, number three, omega-3 index. Number four, fasting insulin. These are all the things you want to test. Uh, number five, serum ferritin, which is uh, like iron, I believe. Uh, number six, C-reactive protein. Number seven, homocysteine. Number eight, NMR pro, uh, lipoprofile. So that's it. I highly suggest you go in and you read the book Keto Fast by Dr. Joseph Mercola. But um, if you're really wanting to take this to that next level, and you want to you want to do it big time, want to do it right, you want to track your results, track your progress, get these labs done, and then do them uh, frequently. In other words, you test yourself before you fast, and then test yourself after you fast. I just had this blood work done about a week ago, so I've got all of my numbers. And then after this five day fasting protocol. I likely get them all done again and to see where I'm at. Um, and then, of course, like I said, the basic, the basic stuff. You know, you want to test your cholesterol and your testosterone, stuff like that. And, uh, and I'll be talking more about these kinds of labs and uh, the benefit thereof and what you're looking for in, in follow-up videos in, in weeks to come. So that's number two. So you got your measurements, you got your pics. Number two, you got your blood work. If you're interested in doing that, it's optional. Number three, not optional. Number three is not optional. Number three is you gotta have you gotta get into ketosis. You don't necessarily you need to get into ketosis, but for up to three to five days before you go into the fast, have ketogenic meals. One of the things we don't want to do is spike insulin right before we go into a fast. And uh, what science has shown is that by and studies have shown by jacking up your insulin before you go into a fast, uh, you have increased. Well, I mean you're gonna feel like shit right, because insulin's high and blood sugar's low, um, but there is an increased uh, tendency to burn muscle, because if insulin's up and you don't, and you're not, and then you fast, you're not eating food, your, the, your body will start scavenging, will start catabolizing, eating up, eating up your muscle. So one of the fastest ways to feel shitty and to lose a lot of muscle is to eat high carbohydrate meals before you fast. So take you know, the next three days, right up, right before you go into a fast, say if you're starting a fast on uh, Monday, say you do Friday, Saturday, Sunday, ketogenic meals, ketogenic meals. Now, you, you may or may not get into ketosis. Fasting is what gets you into ketosis faster than anything. And whether or not you get into ketosis is not a big deal. The whole idea is that you want to control insulin. And you want to, the faster you get into ketosis, the better, because the better you'll feel during your fasting. Your body will be using ketones for energy and you won't have low blood sugar or you won't suffer from the, from the, uh, the bad feelings of low blood sugar. Getting into ketosis is good, but uh, eating ketogenic meals or low carbohydrate, high fat, high protein, moderate protein meals, right? So really, it's about, like I said, it's controlling insulin. Not a lot of sugar, not a lot of starch. Keep those things real low and jack up the protein and the fat. Um, and then also, uh, I would suggest getting these, these tools ahead of time before you start fasting, but you can start using them in the pre-fasting protocol to see if you are getting into ketosis. But you can, you can, you can piss on these strips and they'll let you know whether or not you get, you're in ketosis. All right? um, 
They're just little peepee -pee strips. Right, a little pee, pee on that little thing there. And then it's going to give you a number, and based on the number, it tells you, you know, how, really what it's tracking is how, many key, how much ketones uh, is in your, in your piss. And that's kind of an indication of whether or not you're in ketosis. Uh, it's a good idea to have while you're doing the fasting. It's a good idea to, to uh, get in the practice of using it in your pre fasting protocol. And then also there's a blood ketone reader that I use. What the cool thing about the blood ketone reader, which both of these things you can get on Amazon, is that it also tests blood sugar. So there's sort of an inverse relationship as blood sugar goes down, ketones go up. So you can test your blood sugar with this. You could also test uh, ketones in your blood, which is a little bit more accurate when the ketones are in your blood rather than in the piss. What I, from what I understand, when you're pissing it out, it just means that there's excess energy, excess ketones, and your body's getting rid of it. When it's in your blood, that's what your body's using. So, you know, it depends on how accurate you want. The whole point is you want to eat ketogenic meals and get into ketosis or close to it uh, before you fast so you'll feel better, you'll get better results. Uh, and again, there's a myriad of benefits associated with it. Uh, so there's that. And then there's inspiration via education. So this video series is really not about educating you on fasting. I've done that in previous videos. I did that with my interviews. This video series is about inspiring you and giving you some instruction on how to go about prolonged fasting. But in the meantime, I know if you're anything like me, anything like me, the ego needs a little bit of validation, a little bit of support if you're going to go about doing this. and. You're kind of questioning, like, why am I doing this? Or is this the right thing to do? Or is this bullshit? Or especially, you know, when you're fasting and the demons, I, I call them demons, but like those negative thoughts start chirping in your ear. Oh, I can't do this. This is terrible. I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to starve to death. I'm going to lose all my gains and all that bullshit. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. You know, prolonged fasting in this process is great for the body, but I really am excited about the mental benefits of it because it really forces you to stop being a pussy, toughen up, get past your emotional dependency on food, and, uh, and, and, and be a big boy. And one of the things that will support you, because it's going to be challenging, are reading some really good books or uh, consuming some content that educates you on fasting. So. Uh, over the past year, I've been devouring tons of resources on fasting. I'm going to give you a few right now. I'm just looking at my Kindle, my Kindle list right here. Of course, Keto Fast by Joseph Mercola, a good book. Uh, I would say that that one is secondary to The Complete Guide to Fasting by Jason Fung. That's number one. Like, if you're not going to get any other book, get The Complete Guide to Fasting by Jason Fung. It's basically everything you'll need to know. I've read it about five times. Everything you'll need to know about why you're fasting, how to fast. This guy, uh, he heals diabetes patients with fasting. They come to his clinic and they'll fast for like two weeks straight, be healed of diabetes. It's crazy. So read the inspirational stories and, and follow the, the guidelines in that. Uh, a lot of what I'm sharing with you, I've pulled from multiple different resources. So you'll see a lot of what I'm talking about in these books. So Keto Fast, The Complete Guide to Fasting. Uh, now, another book that I would uh, suggest reading, although I don't, rec I, don't, I don't agree with everything he says. Like the other guys, I kind of agree more. But uh, Dr. Dr. Arnold Eric, Rational Fasting. It's a book written in like the 1920s. And, uh, and you can see it here, right there. Right there. And uh, he recommends like you, he recommends prolonged fasting, and I love what he talks about in terms of fasting and all he teaches with fasting. But then he suggests you become a fruitarian, and um, I'm not ready for that shit, and uh, and I I'm, I don't think it's a good idea. But you know, if you if you want to become a fruit, become a fr eat start eating fruitarian, do that too. I think Arnold Eric was uh, brilliant. I think he was a genius. I love his work. Uh, I am not becoming a fruit fucking tarian. <laughs> But everything else in the book is great. Uh, a few other uh, resources that uh, you may want to read for motivation, inspiration. The Longevity Solution by Jason Fung is also another good one. The Fasting Cure, old book written by Upton Sinclair. 
another great one. Uh, Metabolic Autophagy is, is a great book, a more contemporary book written by one of my favorite YouTubers, Sim Land. Shout out, Sim. And, uh, and I would highly recommend getting a copy of his book. It's, a, it's, a, it's pretty comprehensive. I mean, he goes from soup to nuts in terms of, you know, what you need to know and how to go about practicing intermittent fasting. And so uh, I think that should, that should, I should hold you over. Those are a few books that are going to prepare you. It's a part of the pre-fasting protocol. Prepare your mind. I think it's just as important to prepare your mind as it is to prepare your body. So there we have it. Getting all your measurements, getting all your blood work, getting into ketosis, getting inspired getting ready to turn this camera off and see you in that next video. Done.